Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Carrie Sharp. After a rough start in Nashville last month, the Ink and Iron Festival swore it would fix the troubles that plagued its debut. Yeah, that's right. But News Channel 5's Todd Walker has learned that won't happen. Todd, you say the festival may never come back. And that's what emails from a bankruptcy attorney to one of the contractors for the festival said. That contractor says he and others still have not been paid for their services, and now it looks like they may never be. Earlier this year, the Tattoo Motorcycle and Music Festival Ink and Iron made its debut in Nashville. After 13 years of being successful in California, the only way to describe this year was a flop. Low attendance caused vendors to lose money, but organizers swore they would be back and it would be better than ever. We've learned a lot and we'll fix it and we're got a five-year deal with the park. Now we've learned Ink and Iron will not be back and that's because of the low attendance. Emails obtained by News Channel 5 show the festival is claiming insolvency and is now bankrupt. Well, I don't hear from people and I email asking for updates on payment and get no replies. Uh, I have to start getting concerned. With Ink and Iron in bankruptcy, that leaves vendors and contractors that help move the festival to Nashville left holding the bill. I'm not a little over $10,000, uh, which, you know, for a small company like me is is quite substantial. Adam Prohaska provided trucking service for the festival. He says he is not the only vendor who hasn't been paid for their services, and they wonder if they ever will be. I don't understand how they can do 13 years of a show in California and claim that they have no money to pay uh, because one show, uh, you know, went uh, bad for them. Now, we have reached out to the attorney that is representing the festival, but so far we have not heard back. In the newsroom tonight, I'm Todd Walker, News Channel 5. Todd, thanks. For 13 years, the Ink and Iron Festival operated out of Long Beach, California, and was very successful. The festival told us in August that the city of Nashville lured it from the West Coast here to Music City.